This is day 55 of trying to get to 2000 ELO on chess.com. Uh, I'm playing with the black pieces and my rating is 1708. And I'm versing someone rated 1693. And this is the Alkynes defense, so I'll probably end up moving my knight um, around the board and then just castling kingside. This is the Alkynes defense Scandinavian variation now. Um, so my opponent takes, uh, I'll take with my knight. And I could actually just take his knight. Um, which is what I'm going to do eventually, I think. But first I'll just develop some of my pieces, maybe push this pawn, maybe develop this knight. Um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take now and um, push this pawn, I think. If he takes with this, okay, I'll just take his queen then. That doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. Um, I'll go here so I can castle with check. I'll actually castle now because it's pinned and then try and take. Um, so t if I take now, it undoubles his pawn structure. So that doesn't look that good to me. If I go back, what's annoying me is that uh, this knight, it's kind of annoying. I kind of wish I had this pawn here because this knight's going to jump in eventually. And I don't really want to take, but I don't want to go back because he can take and then his knight goes here. Um... So that's kind of annoying. It's hard for me to defend this pawn. But, uh... Actually, maybe I'll just go here. And uh, if his knight goes here... Okay. I'll stop his knight from coming here now. And then uh, I'll push this pawn so I can develop my dark squared bishop. It looks like rook here or there. That looks like a good move. Um, so I'm just trying to develop my dark squared bishop. If he goes here, I'll probably just allow him to double my pawn structure. Okay, he that looks like that, that move looks too slow to me. So I'll go here. So now the rooks are connected. So that's that's good. And um, probably pushing this pawn is uh, a good move to go here. Okay, so he's attacking this knight. The rooks see each other. I don't really want him to take this because his bishop is also eyeing down this pawn. Like, if I were to move my knight and uh, his bishop takes this, I'm pretty sure his bishop is just trapped, but maybe not. Maybe he could actually go there, and then my king isn't able to get to his bishop. Um, I am thinking of just pushing this pawn and allow him to double my pawn structure. Yeah, I'm just going to allow him to double my pawn structure. And um, I just don't want the position to be too confusing. And so now his knight is attacking this bishop, but it's also attacking this pawn. So I'm going to take the knight, and his bishop will be attacking my rook. But he decides to take with the pawn. Um, so I think the most obvious move would be to go here, threatening to go here. I need to push my pawns because these pawns are very weak, and I need to move this bishop so I can maybe move this pawn eventually. I need to move my king to guard these pawns better. Um, so... Yeah, I think uh, I think I'll just go here, attacking his bishop, and but also having a nice strong pawn structure. He's obviously going to try and push this pawn, I think, in the future. Um, so I could go here with my bishop, um, but also um, getting ready so I can push this pawn later in the game. Um, yeah, so I think uh, just putting my rook here and uh, pushing this pawn looks uh, looks like a good move. The position looks pretty equal. He could go here. Um, I think I would just have to en passant. Or maybe just move my bishop back. Maybe I'll just move my bishop back one square. Or maybe two squares. Okay, so my opponent decides not to push this pawn, but to push uh, this pawn. Obviously, uh, I don't think taking... Looks good for me, although I guess I could maybe put the rook here, but um, doesn't really look that good. I think uh, a much better move. Uh, I think a much better move would be just to push this pawn and uh, try and take this. And if he pushes, um, that wouldn't work. So uh, he has now decided to take. I'm going to take this with check. Um, so I think he kind of blundered that. Um, so now the king has to move. So probably here. 
Um, but this pawn is also hanging, so um, I guess I could allow him to take this though, because it's kind of uh, since his king's here, it's blocking his rooks. So I guess I could actually just take this, and then he won't be able to defend this pawn here. I have to be careful though. Yeah, so I'll just I'll just take that. Um, I, I do have to be careful though. And so now I'm threatening to take this, attacking his rook. So he, I'm I'm guessing he's probably gonna take back, and then um, and then I guess uh, I'll just take back. I do have this check though. But is that necessary for me to play that? I don't I don't really think this check is necessary because. Uh, just doesn't really do anything. I kind of like when his king is right there. Um, but he decides he's going to now block this check. Um, it looks like he's trying to go here to try and maybe win some of his, some of his pawns back. Um, that, that actually looks like a good move because I was thinking about putting my rook here. Putting my rook over here, but his bishop would just take that. Um... Maybe I could push this pawn, and then if he were to go here, I could probably just take his rook. That looks like a good move. So yeah, I just want to move my uh, move this pawn, take his pawns, trade off the material. He decides to take, um, so I think I'll just take back, and then I'll try and push this pawn eventually. Interesting. Um, actually, yeah, that's a good move because my bishop was attacking his rook. If I were to take, his rook would kind of get active, so I'm not going to do, do that. Yeah, I'm going to push this pawn, and uh, I just want to trade off the material. If he decides to just push, then that would be very interesting. Um, I don't know if that, would, if that really is a good move, um, but if he takes, I'll just take with my bishop. Um, so, but he, first he decides to take my rook. Now I could take uh, his take back. That's what a lot of beginners would probably do, but I'm not in check. So I could actually just take this. But would I? is it better for, for his king to be here or is it better for him to still have the option to push or and my bishop to be here? Um, I'm going to say it's better for me just not to give him... The option, I would say, and then just take back. Um, and then reroute my bishop to a better spot, move my king into the game. Uh, I have to be careful though, this bishop is kind of, you know, he does, he would have this rook check on the B file. And I do have, uh, I do have this check, but obviously his king kind of just attacks my bishop, so I don't know if that really does anything. I think rerouting my bishop um, so it's defended by a pawn looks good for me. And then if I can somehow, this actually might be a draw because, uh, I mean, I think I'm going to win, but uh, this actually could be a draw here. So opponent is occupying this file. Check. Uh, king goes here, attacking my bishop. Um... I could also go here attacking his rook. He'd probably go like here, and then I could reroute my bishop here. That would look kind of good. Yeah, I'm going to play that. Actually, well, if I were to play this and he goes here, then it looks like I can just sacrifice my bishop. So, uh, so that looks fine. So, sacrifice my bishop, but he decides he's going to attack my bishop. I could actually just go here attacking his king um but is that necessary is that necessary probably not but i'm still going to play that and uh, then i will retreat my bishop um back here i think i have to be careful because i'm only up one pawn and it's a okay he goes okay he goes for this um, yeah, I'm just going to take, I think I can somehow win this because, uh, I'm, I could be totally wrong though. 
If I go here, here, and then here, he can't defend the pawn. I think I'm winning now. So now I'll just go here, and he can't... Uh, or sorry, I have to go here again. And then I'll go here. Oh, but he could just do that. Okay. Well, I kind of blundered that. That's unfortunate. Um, But I will... uh. I'll move my bishop back, move my king into the game. Actually, I'll move my king. Uh, actually, no, I'll put my I'll put my bishop back. Um, uh, I'll go here, and uh, he could push this pawn. He decides to go there. I'll go here. This is obviously a draw. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him take this pawn with his bishop, um, because at the end of the day, I can just sacrifice my bishop for his pawn at the. But I'm just going to see if I can maybe move my king around. Uh, this is obviously a draw, but uh, maybe he can uh, blunder something. Probably not. Um, I just have to make sure my bishop stays here. And I'm just going to be as, as annoying as possible and not uh, accept the draw. So maybe I can... Maybe I can go over here and push this pawn. Maybe I can have some type of check with my bishop later in the game. If, if his king were to go here, maybe this check is kind of good. But yeah, this is just like a total total draw. Um, I, I can push this pawn though, but he could just sacrifice his bishop. And uh, okay, he can do that as well. So I'll go back. Um... Yeah, this is just a draw, so bishop takes. I'll take his pawn. So that's unfortunate. I played with a 95.9% .9 accuracy. My opponent played with a 95.6% accuracy. Surprisingly, my opponent um, like allowed me to take his queen and lose castling rights. It's not like completely crazy, but um, like you'd think I'd be able to like at least have more of an advantage. But the computer says that it's just completely fine for him so yeah like we just kind of traded off all the pieces i was looking for any type of like opportunities but they're really like i was trying everything but there was just couldn't really do anything and then for some reason i thought that like uh i was gonna win his pawn but like just that just doesn't work my rating is 1708 percentile 99.3 and a high of 1882 thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow